Hi, dear Calu students, so happy to meet you in this second video of this module on cross-cutting issues. Our second topic that we studied all of this week is was environment. Environment, environment. Why? What is the link between gender and environment? Some of you asked. I don't remember which forum it is the Spanish, English, or the French. The common points are two. Two. <laughs> First, gender and environment are cross-cutting issues. So they definitely belong to these issues that modern cross-cutting, I mean they're cross-cutting because they're core. For me, they, they're vital, not as I mentioned to, to, to you when I, we discussed about gender in the first video. How come nowadays we can implement projects without taking into account the environment in the environmental impact of all our decisions and our activities. Second common point is the way we approach them. Like I mentioned to you, gender for me is about putting the right specs, asking the right questions. I mean, really looking what is happening in the communities in terms of the dynamics, who composes this community and how do they relate? Um, how do they want to grow? How, how my program is going to impact on these different groups and how can I enhance the positive impact and especially ensure that everyone has equal access and equal opportunity in the activities that I implement. So with environment, the same thing. I'm going to, to ask myself, I mean, I'm going to put my specs and ask myself three kind of questions. Basic ones. First, what is the environmental impact, potential impact of my decisions or my activities of this project that I want to implement? It's not related to environment, but what is the impact of what I'm doing on the environment? Second question, can I influence positively the, the environment, uh, the environmental issues that I see in these communities? My project may not be at all about environment, but how can I use my activities with the communities to enhance their consciousness or even to link some of my activities with activities that could protect the environment. Third question I can ask myself, okay, if I identify that some of my actions may have a negative impact on the environment, what do I do about that? And what do I decide about my project? Okay, so let me give you a simple example. Let us see, and, and you have seen it, or you have faced it, in, in the, or you are facing it regularly. Let us see, we have a major disaster, in the, or we have a camp with refugee or with displaced people, and we, we have a challenge with safe drinking water. And let us say a very generous company, or even the state company, offers um, safe drinking water, and the only format that they can give to us is small bottles of water, small plastic bottles of water. So first thing is say, wow, yes, taking into account the quantity they're offering me, I'm giving to my people, I mean, to the people I'm taking care of, sufficient safe drinking water for all the camp during that number of days. Wow, fantastic, because water is vital, perfect. And you may not want people to go and walk many hours to get the the water outside the camp, maybe for protection reasons, so that the women and the children are, are not at risk of, for example, sexual violence or, or other physical threats to their safety on the way, etc. So it's a very noble intention, definitely protect and, and save lives because water is life-saving. Then here, my, my question must B, okay, now I know that plastic has a huge impact on the environment. And already if we're talking about a camp, we may have also the issue of the firewood, etc., etc. So I, I have these bottles of water. So start to make basic calculation. Okay, that number of plastic, 
I'm going to collect this bottle. So I'm going to organize that people have the discipline to, to uh, dispose the bottle in a specific place. In which place of the camp will I, uh, will I do that? How I'm going to manage this waste? Is it a waste management? Um, is there a system in place? Uh, how it's go is, it, is the system going to be able to, to, to take on board that amount of bottles? And the third question, and, and I think that's what for me is um, means cross-cutting. And that's at the first, you know, few years back, it was all new to us, <gasps> integrating, integrating. So at least we take into account, we ask these two basic questions. But how can I transform? I mean, something that is, that is negative by itself, that's a negative impact in something positive. Can I, can I create or enhance or promote an income generating activity around recycling these bottles, but making with these bottles something? You know, these bottles can even be used. There's some um, sizzling activity. They can be recycled. So many things nowadays are made of plastics. So even if they're in the camp, there's no this possibility of recycling and transforming the plastic, which there may be. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know too much about what is possible, but I know that there are some initiatives in that sense. So if something is possible, fantastic, but maybe for reasons of space and everything, can I get that those bottles outside of the camp, set them to a recycling place where they're going to be transformed and then earn some money for that? and create, you know, some income for the families. And I mean, there's so much. So cross-cutting issues, it's very much, okay, I put my specs, I ask my question, but the same that we're doing with gender is how can I transform uh, something and get it to the next level, okay? Then there's a good news. I mean, you've shared, you've shared in, ah, you know, getting upset when you shared in, in, in so many of your countries that you still see projects that do not take into account the environmental um, aspect. And, oh, and they say, how come nowadays we all have the information on, on the impact, the environmental impact of everything we do? We, we, we know how to integrate it. We know how, I mean, we talk so much about that. And at the same time, I said, you know what? What's positive about that? Because everything has negative, positive perspective. So uh, everything is yin and yang, no? It's, it's a matter of looking and say, okay, if they are able to really, I mean, and, and, and your, your comments and your, your contributions were, were really structured, you, you identify very clearly what was not in the project. So if you're able to see that, you know, few years, I mean, few years back, maybe a number of years back, there were not these kind of comments. So it means now, yes, we have gained awareness. Yes, we have gained knowledge in terms of what needs to be done. So that, that's why you are able to see, see a project and say, hey, with the, with the environmental integration. Okay, so, so that, that's positive. No, even if we can say, oh my God, it's negative, there's a project still seeing that. If you are able to see it, and so many of you and of us are able to see it, it means, yes, awareness is that there are ideas. So what's the objective of this module? It's really equip you with the tools and inspire you and, and, and stimulate your creativity on how you can, in a constructive way, also integrate that in your project. It's like when we talked about gender, you know, in with all these cross-cutting issues, I think we're coming back um, and we can be very passionate about this and, and really maybe just get upset that you don't take that into account. I, I boil sometimes, you know, but we really need to be constructive about the way we market that and, and we take people on board. I mean, anyway, I think it's it's it needs to be in every, the way we interact with people in general, and especially nowadays where the, the, the world tends to be so polarized, it's important to have this approach of, I take people on board, not criticizing, blaming, pointing, and sometimes it's needed, but there are two or three key people and big people in the world, they do that and they create a reaction in the leaders and things move. But then us at the community, at the country level, we want to be assemblers. 
we want to embrace people we want to take people on board so yeah go to these projects where you have seen that there's no integration in don't point out but just go and say look what about doing that? What about I'm really interested in, 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 in supporting you and contributing and sharing my idea about what is that? Then if you see that the, there's no reaction or not integration and everything, be a little more activist in the way you're bringing and advocate with your authorities, with the different levels, with the, the levels of influence that you can have in your, in your network. So that's my message for environment. We have started actually today the rights based approach, really exciting topic also, not that old. I'll, I'll share with you interesting experiences of my old times where we would differentiate so much humanitarian and, and rights. So it's really an, an exciting, an exciting enhancement that humanitarian aid has gone through with integrating the rights-based approach. Looking forward to our discussions and um, your any reactions or comments or questions still about environment. I mean, this this month is about cross-cutting issues. Let's not um, uh, restrain ourselves to get the maximum clarity and the maximum share of experiences. Thank you. See you next week. But uh, today and the next days on the forum, written. <laughs>